are in profit uh, just reporting on week three we've had a very exciting week this week and really this week is very much about kind of wood structures and Jean we've um, removed a lot of works in here we have so as you can see the space is really clean but just cautionary measures because they were working in the far corner in the front room and into the ceiling in the centre of the second room but we've taken off all the works in the space and stuff from here in the corner and just again a precautionary measure covered these in poly and um, just to prevent from dust but there is really minimal dust it's gordon niles i mean a consultant timber technologist so looking at the timber mostly in the older buildings so investigating the timber that's in the floor here in the Crawford gallery at the moment hi i'm pat brady from Oregon Lynch. Uh, i'm a structural conservation engineer and again with uh, Gordon here, we're looking at the floors, particularly in terms of condition and strength, and a little bit of the history will help us in terms of assessing. You can see here, we're really looking down into the floors because we're, this is really over the sculpture gallery and looking down into the masonry to see, I suppose, the structure and the condition of the wood floors. You'll see up here, this line is actually the line over the sculpture gallery. And then as we go along the corridor here, we're over the library. And some of you may have had access to our library, which is an incredible kind of space in itself. So very uh, detailed wood investigations going on here all week. So on a daily basis we have regular site meetings where there's a lot of experts on site looking at uh, ground conditions from stone experts to wood experts to terrazzo experts and it's been a phenomenal and detailed investigation of fabric aspects. We'll just show you quickly this hole here, this is the one we showed you last week. So this now is getting ready for, re for refilling actually, the concrete's put back down and the terrazzo floor part will be put back before we reopen to the public in the 21st of April. Thanks very much for tuning in. Um, we've had a really dynamic week this week. I'm sure you can see lots of people on site. Uh, tune in again next week and then we'll be open to the public. We look forward to welcoming you back after this temporary closure.